Today we are going to see how fish eggs are farmed and harvested, also what makes them so expensive. So grab some popcorn and let's get started. There are more than 27 species of sturgeon. Only a few of them are farmed to produce caviar. The most expensive eggs come from beluga sturgeon. Six to seven years old sturgeons are mature enough to lay eggs. To harvest them, sturgeons are taken to the lab where an ultrasound determines whether a particular fish is ready to lay eggs. Upon confirmation, their bellies are massaged lightly and eggs start to come out. But the task is not finished yet. What you have seen so far was the collection of eggs from rootstock for hatching or reproduction purposes. The thing is that sturgeons is an endangered species, and their population is decreasing rapidly due to climate change and exploitation in the wild. So to preserve their population, caviar is only harvested from the farm-produced sturgeons. Okay, enough of the backstory, now let's get back to the eggs we have just collected. So, these eggs will be taken into an incubator, where the sperm of a male will start the fertilization process. It's important to stir them gently in spur solution before putting into the incubator. Tail feathers come handy in this situation. Eggs tend to stick to each other, but it is necessary to keep them apart for successful hatching. You would be shocked to know that sperm solution is diluted with cow milk to serve as a DE adhesive agent. It prevents the eggs from sticking to each other. Usually, Zug jars or McDonald jars are used as incubators where temperature of water should not be more than 17 degrees Celsius. After 14 to 16 days of incubation, eggs start to hatch. At this point, sturgeon's larva looks similar to the larva of ordinary frog. They are shifted to the large circular tanks, and 11 days after hatching, larvae are given their first ever feed. Growth and survival rate could be increased by giving them the composite feed right away. They will be raised inside for next three years, because sturgeons prefer shade and avoid direct light. Ponds often require cleaning, as fish could get stuck in undergrowing weed and algae. Their diet would be adjusted according to their age. Mostly, they consume palletized feed containing fish or shrimp. As they grow older, they require comparatively warmer water at 24 degrees Celsius. Moreover, they could no longer be accommodated in small shaded ponds, nor they need them. So all of the four-year-old sturgeons are shifted to the large ponds outside. Here they will enjoy next three years of their life before being selected for eggs harvesting. By the time of harvesting, they would have been living the farm for last seven years. Yes, seven years of being raised in a farm. Now you might get the idea why they are so expensive. To catch, the fish net is thrown into the pond, which concentrates sturgeons into smaller area. They are seized by hands and put into water tanks. Upon reaching the lab, they are examined and ultrasound is used to check the quality of the eggs. Some of them are lucky enough and get selected to be part of brooder stock. Others are sent for eggs harvesting by surgical methods. Some farms use non-surgical procedure, where bellies of the sturgeons are massaged lightly and they start to lay eggs, but eggs quantity here is much less. So mostly it's a surgical procedure and fish loses her life. Eggs are collected in a large bowl and sent to the machine for washing. To detach them from membrane, it is crucial to rub them against soft net. Falling eggs get collected in a container underneath. After that, they are kept soaked in water until adhesive is completely removed. Then they are rinsed and each batch is inspected for improper or damaged eggs. Hard work has paid off and finally now it's time to pack them. But before that, salt is added to the batch in a certain quantity. Due to a limited quantity, no high-tech packaging machines are required. Caviar is carefully filled in the jars by hand due to its delicate state. The carcass of the sturgeon is not wasted. It is processed and sent to the market along with other seafood. But it is sold at much lower cost compared to the caviar. And one more thing. 
the brooder stock could reproduce eggs after every two years, which means the sturgeon from which we initially collected the eggs by belly massage could lay eggs again in two years. Moreover, this is the reason why farms don't prefer non-surgical method for caviar harvesting, because they have to wait and feed the sturgeons for two more years for next batch of caviar. Now you may understand why non-surgical method is only limited to the brooder stock. It is a common misconception that caviar is fish's eggs, but in reality, only sturgeon's eggs are entitled to be called caviar. In mid-80s, fishermen caught a beluga sturgeon that weighed more than 2,500 pounds and produced about 1,000 pounds of caviar. If anyone could have such a catch today, it will be worth close to $15 million. Why? Because here is a brand new Toyota Camry, a perfect family sedan, and it costs about $25,000. Now this here is a bowl of fish eggs, and its price? $35,000. At this hefty price tag, it is a cuisine that only a handful of elites could ever taste. So if you enjoyed this video, which I assume you did because you made it to the end, you may want to watch my other videos on similar topic, along with few other farming and meat processing videos. All of them are at your screen right now. Take a pic and enjoy, but don't forget to subscribe.